we have a 2011 Land Rover Range Rover HSE. This one is a naturally aspirated engine, V8, 5.0 liter engine. It came in because it had a, a blown head gasket. And the previous owner, just to turn around and sell it, put in some sort of stop leak in there, uh, which ended up clogging some of the stuff. Uh, it made things worse. Uh, but somebody had to go through this mess. Now, we're gonna go through everything. We're gonna remove uh, everything you see here, the, and then try to replace the head gaskets with banks, of course. Um, and everything in the way needed replacing, we're gonna replace and bring this to life. I have never done this before. Well, from what I read, uh, it requires special tools. I ordered some of them, especially to remove those high pressure injectors, uh, fuel injectors. Uh, you need a special tool the cam tool uh cam locking tool um crankshaft locking tool flywheel reluctor wheel locking uh, the whole shebang is ordered just uh, it's coming in the meantime i'm gonna just try to take some stuff off i called the land rover to find out what head bolts i need uh, because the head bolts on these are uh, stretch bolts meaning you have to replace them the book says discard the head bolts so you know, not every stretch bolt is a uh, something you have to, have to dis discard but uh definitely this one is i call the land rover but when i called they said uh you, you, you need to, we need to know so you have to remove the bolts and see if it's 10 or 11. uh from my i, I read or the, these naturally aspirated engines a 5.0 liter engines do have a, a, a 10 but we'll find out soon enough and then you need to have special tools we'll go through the tools later uh, depending on what i needed to do this the interior looks great and that is uh, one of the reason i decided uh, sort of to take a risk and invest some time and money to try to do this um it's clean um worth saving in my opinion of course the leather seats uh need some cleaning but beside that no rips or tears the headliner is perfect and no stains on the carpet Where you have a uh, this kind of problem with the head gasket uh, most people or most shops just basically will recommend a swap engine swap uh, rather than repairing the problem mainly because of special tools and special skills too you have to deal with timing also you have to uh, replace a lot of parts which are expensive if you don't know how to source those parts um, and uh, Cheapest engine, a used engine. The cheapest one I've, I've seen is about 7,500. Um, but the brand new one is about 24,000. And it's not worth it uh, to uh, replace uh, with a brand new engine. Uh, and then even if it is just to buy the engine, uh, seven, eight thousand dollars worth of engine. And then by the time you add uh, labor and, and any fluids and shop uh, expenses, uh, you're looking at about 10 grand uh, to replace the engine. And to repair the engine is usually is actually more money maybe uh, if you don't do it yourself. So that's what we're going to be doing. I, like I said, I have never done this before. Um, this is my first rodeo for this vehicle. I've done other rebuilds, uh, different vehicles, different engines. Uh, but this is a new territory for me, uncharted territory for me. Uh, and I could use all the helps and comments. Uh, just give me some comments and ideas how I could do this. And then if you have if you've done it before, any comments or suggestion would be appreciated as we progress through uh, through fixing and repairing this vehicle. And if there's any things that I should know, please uh, put them down in the comment section. Uh, and then please do like and subscribe uh, so we could uh, keep in touch and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video on part two where we start taking things apart I'll see you on the next video thank you for watching